what is going on guys my name is TJ welcome back to another brand new video today I'm going to be showing you how to play on mods on command and conquer games Wrath. now uh, a lot of people are very struggling with this because it's not in the exact same method as it is on Red Alert 3 and Tiberium Wars where you just shove the mods in the, do uh, in the documents set the launch options and away you go you actually need another tool uh, for playing canes with mods um, and this tool is the RAF ED mod launcher you're going to want to download this every link I do in my videos is going to be in the descriptions it's going to be nice and easy for you guys to find them download the Kane's RAF mod, um, mod launcher install it so once you have downloaded the RAF ED mod launcher you want to go ahead and install it now that you have got it installed, I will quickly grab mine and put it on the desktop so you guys can see. So once you've got it downloaded and installed, just put it wherever your Command & Conquer Kane's Wrath is. I, I just leave mine on the desktop because I'm a lazy ass dude. Um, and then you're going to want to go back into Steam. Now when you're in Steam, you're going to want to go to Kane's Wrath. You're going to want to go to Properties. And then you're going to want to go to Set Launch Options. In the Set Launch Options, you're going to want to write and do this exactly how I do it. It's a space bar on the keyboard minus UI. So space minus UI. Boom. Boom. That's done. Right, then the next step, obviously, is to get a mod. You're going to want to go over to, I can quickly do this with you right now. Kings. Kane's Wrath Mods. I'm going to go on Mod DB. I always go for Mod DB. Find a mod that you want. We've got one vision here. Go to Files. Boom. One Vision 0 0.90 is the latest one on Mod DB. Download now. And that's all you need to do for, for getting a mod. Once it's installed, once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract the file. It will be a file just like this on here. You right click it, extract here. Once you've extracted it, you want to go into File Explorer. You're going to want to need to go into Documents. Uh, I've got two Kane's Wrath. This is why I don't want to show you guys on Origin because it will ruin my Steam version. I'm going to go into Kane's Wrath and there will be a Mods folder. If you haven't got a Mods folder, just create one. Just make a new file, new folder, call it mods, and that's all you have to do. Obviously I've got one so I don't need to do this. Then you're going to want to put the One Vision mod folder in here. You just need the folder, you don't need all the stuff that it comes with. Just find the folder that says One Vision on it, and that's all you need. It will have some files in it like this. So once you've got it in your documents, in Kane's Wrath, in the mods folder, and you've put your mod in here, you need to go to the next step. And that's opening up the Wrath ED launcher. We're going to go to run as administrator. Yep. You're going to get a box that pops up like this. All your mods will be here, That any mods that you've downloaded. I've got 0.92a, this is the one I'd use. And play. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. There's nothing else you need to do. Just follow those steps and you will have mods on King's Wrath. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. Nice to see you guys very soon on the next video.